go Let's go huh. yeah. Is this love Or is it something else I swear that you stay up in my mind yeah. Is this love Or is it just something else Hey man, what's good y'all boys? It's Matt Stonosaur coming at you with another video. And today, I got a little summary video. We're going to be going over the best point guards in the game. Y'all know y'all been seeing me cook all year. But there's always the debate, should I have this build, should I have that build? I've pretty much made the same build three times because I tweak it. Everyone's debating builds. But um, yeah, man, the footage you're seeing now is me on my PP. I go crazy on my PP build on stream. That's my offensive threat. I just made a new build, which is an inside out facilitator. I'll pop that up on screen now and link it in the description. If I'm not dense, hopefully I don't forget. But anyways, you see my builds here. I have my new build, the 83 overall, my summer build. Y'all don't want to see that build. That build's going to come out later, all right? You don't have to wait on that one. That's the demigod. That's that final evolution post mixtape build. But today we're going over the best three with an honorable mention. So we'll say top four best point guard builds in the game now i'm disregarding if, i know some people like to go with the pure slasher I'm disregarding pure slashers i'm disregarding pure shooters this is all around build so here we go fourth best build this is a top three video but i'm going to drop this honorable mention because the fourth and the third are very similar so here we go <clears throat> off the rip we're starting with the playmaking shot creator so with the playmaking shot creator, we're going with the, oh, I'm tripping right now. What pie chart is this again? Playmaking shot creator, you go with the playmaking shot, uh, playmaking pie chart and the shooting pie chart. So you're gonna go down to the green and yellow, shooting and playmaking. And then you're gonna go with the, obviously the quickest pie chart. You can do that for almost everything except one build. So off the rip, off the rip, you're upgrading your shooting, you're upgrading your finishing, you're upgrading your ball. That's, that's, that's the immediate thing. So the perks to the playmaking shot creator build, just to go over it while we're here, is this build is the build you want to make if you want to be pretty much a, a, a three-point first player, best for running behind screens, playing passive, you know what I mean? If you're a fundamental dude that likes to run the twos, you like to take screens, you like to fade, shoot threes, you don't drive much, but you run pick and roll with an inside center, this is the ideal build for you on the twos. A play shot pretty much embodies taking a high percentage of jump shots and being a good solid perimeter build to bring floor spacing to the twos while you run with an inside center. So there you see my upgrades. Trust me y'all, if y'all want to tweak your upgrades plus five here, minus five there, you don't have to do exactly what I did. This is just the basic summary. But you see how I do a relatively medium wingspan. Now you see this has a good jump shot rating. It's got a nine, uh, 83, so you don't have to worry about making your arms long or short. But there it is. Normally go with shot creator takeover, and that's playmaking shot creator. So once again, you see the comparisons Trey Young Kyrie. This build is a high ball control. You can shoot good around screens, and that's pretty much all it's for, and it has a decent amount of defensive badges. That's good for the twos. Alright. That's our honorable mention. Now, with the third best build, which is pretty much, pretty much this build, it's like that build, but a little better in my opinion, a little tweaked, we have the Slashing Playmaker. If you're familiar with the Slashing Playmaker, two ways to make it. I gave you all the one with the better three-point rating here, as you see, um, because I would definitely want this if I had a Slashing Playmaker. But as you see off the rip, 27 playmaking badges for two categories max, because we're going with a primary playmaking pie chart. So off the rip, you see we get 27 playmaking badges with a 95 speed acceleration of ball handling. You're also going to see driving dunk is a 79, which means you can push towards contact dunks depending on how you upgrade later on. You have a decent drive. You still have a pretty good shot. 75 three is a good three. If you really, if you make a slashing playmaker, now in my opinion, outside of this gameplay, you could take off some of your finishing and put on defense. And you can get like 10 defensive badges and have a 75 three kind of lethal but depending on what you upgrade you're going to be tweaking you can choose to either have more defensive badges or you can have contact dumps or you can have a better shot now it's all how you tweak it but the slashing playmaker is a fast build high ball control with pretty good shooting pretty good finishing 
but it also has a well-rounded defense. So this build is like my BP build that I have, which you'll see soon. But all around, it's more it's more well-rounded. You know, see here, I go minimum weight. I go six foot four. Your wingspan, you might want to drop it down a little bit to help your jump shot. See, certain times you do need to help your wingspan out or help your jump shot out by moving your wingspan. The play shot, you don't. This build, you might want to. And then, yeah, you can choose whatever takeover you want here. But um, yeah, so take my BP build, for example, and give it better defense and take away a little of everything. There's your slashing playmaker. So slashing playmaker, once again, ISO build, not really the best build for screen. It's not a shooting primary build, but it has a relatively good shot, good defense, good finishing, and it's fast and has good playmaking. So it's a, it's it's the, the even blend you get out of everything in terms of its skill sets. Now with the second best build, my personal build the bp build once again i have a tweaked version of this build link in the description that i made so you get a slashing and shooting pie chart max speed uh, agility chart and off the rip you're going to upgrade your dunk layup all that your jump shot the main stuff and you're going to notice 82 driving dunk that's enough to get contact dunks at 97 overall we're going to have ball handling to the point where we can speed boost at 90 uh, 97 98 overall once i have my arms lowered down so we have an 85 ball control at default so we have contact dunks, speed boosting, we have a good jump shot, an elite jump shot, and our defense is going to lack a little bit. It's just the way it goes. This is one, like I said, the slashing playmaker is this build, but it's more even because you get more defense and you get a little less of everything. Although you do get a faster player, playmaking goes up. So slashing playmaker is an increase in playmaking and defense, but or no, yes it is. It's an increase in playmaking defense with a decreasing and finishing and shooting. So with this build, I like to go 6'3", minimum weight. This is pretty much my exact build I have. And your wingspan, you lower it because now look, you have 83 ball control, which means you speed boost at 97. So that's what I do there. Playmaking take, that's the demon build. That's the build you get ankles with. That's the build you get posters with. That's the build you can shoot with, but your defense is your liability. So offensive threat but the bp offensive threat because the playmaking shot creator and is pretty much an offensive threat this is the bp offensive threat you can shoot the lights out snatch angles dunk people to the ground and you have suspect defense so that's what i go with i'm a team player i trust my teammates i run with lockdowns i can shoot I'm not worried about my defense i run with that now here without a doubt as much as i refuse to make the build and i don't like to make the build and I don't feel like wasting the time to go through and make the build. This is, without a doubt, the best build in 2K for point guards. At least we're talking about point guards here. This is the best point guard build in NBA 2K20 by far. Off the rip, it is two-way slashing playmaker. This build is ridiculous. Whoever found it, you're a god. Playmaking an offensive pie chart. And then look at the look at the agility chart. You go to an agility chart down there that has high vertical you lose one speed in two acceleration or three acceleration and your vertical goes up by 40. explain that to me this is a playmaking defense build you have max speed and max vertical you get 89 ball control so you're going to have elite ball control look at the driving dunk y'all you don't even have to lower your arms to get contact you're getting contact in 96 overall Actually, no, you're not. You're getting it now. It's 85. I'm tripping, y'all. I'm tripping. You're getting contact dunks off the rip. 17 defensive badges with a max vertical. So you're literally able to jump up to any big. Your ball control is elite. Your shooting is a 67. That is your weak point. But you can also tweak your arms to make up for that. Like I said. So here you see the badge layout. A 10, 10, 20, 20. Like, that is very well rounded. This build has, in my opinion, from what I've seen, almost the most badges you can possibly get as a point guard you can be od and make this build 6-5 here's what i looked at for 6-5 i didn't really like it i ended up deciding i wanted to change it so i'm pretty sure i changed it to 6-4 in the gameplay but either way 6-4 6-5 and then you can um you lower your arms to help your shooting but like come on man you have elite ball control contact dunks all the defensive badges in the world you can drop step people into outer space and all you have to do is hit a knockdown of one or two threes in a game with your low ball rate. When you buy boost, you get floor general on your team. Like, you're chilling. Two way slashing playmaker, unfair. You gotta go slashing take. You abuse people with this build. It is what it is. So, yeah. Best build in the game for point guards for ISO and off the rip. Two way slashing playmaker. You can dunk on anyone. 
If you're really good, you can shoot with no meter, boost, floor general, put it all together, you're fine. Dunking is insane, shooting is insane, uh, you, you know, playmaking is insane. It's all, it's the all-around demigod, though. Whoever found it here, you're nuts. But anyways, man, it's been massive, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know this is a random video to make later in the year, but I wanted to get y'all right for the summer. We're all making new builds for the summer to keep our fun up on the scene. So that's what we're doing, y'all. Anyways, man, it's been Mouse on the Sword. Thank y'all so much for the support. The channel's been going crazy. Leave a like on the video if this helped you. And I'm out. Peace. Lately, you've been on my mind like all the time. I'm gonna get you out my